Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Imbecile, stay back. Now, now, child, your pet means to speak. Tell me, pet, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? Senseless creature. I don't want to dull my blade on your overly thick skull, but your bravery amuses me. Finally, I find a wolf in a world of lowing cattle. You may live for the moment. Now, we seek a weapon taken from a vessel that fell from the sky. Understand, Istik? You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to fall into the Gith Raiders' hands any more than it does the Absolute followers. Help us find it and I will leave your blood beneath your skin unspilled. Do not speak, your bleating offends my ears. Just stand still. He begins to move his hand in a quick flurry of gestures. You realize he's casting Detect Thoughts. <laughs> Nothing even approaching a useful thought in that skull. I ought to just kill you. So bold in the face of death. Perhaps you may live after all. Better to let stronger blood thrive. It can give rise to worthier foes and hardier slaves. Don't disappoint me. I required your silence, and you made me a mockery! A Kithrak demanded my head! I should have given him yours. Bah! This is a distraction. The Kithrak deserves the whole of my scorn. How dare he speak my queen's name? How dare he dishonor her child? Do not be naive. I followed protocol. I've earned Vlakith's favor! I will remove the parasite. I will see the Kithrak dead. And I will offer his head to Vlakith herself. A crush is near, that much is certain. We follow the path forward and seek signs of Githyanki settlers. No one, not even the ignobles just still Kithrak, will keep me from my purification.